Hey, good morning. Today I want to talk about macro photography and the cameras that I use to do that. Um, the cameras that I use for macro photography are Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras. Now this is the EM5 Mark II. Uh, not the newest thing from Olympus, obviously, but very capable camera. 16 megapixels, which is plenty of pixels for what I do. Um, these uh, Olympus cameras have an amazing image stabilization that's very useful. Um, this camera will actually do focus stacking. It's built into the camera with certain lenses like this macro lens that it ha I have on here. It will actually do focus stacking within the camera and combine them into one image rather than doing it in a, on a computer. So this, um, this lens is the 30 millimeter F35 macro lens from Olympus. Super sharp lens goes all the way to 1.25x magnification. The working distance of those that, that magnification is pretty close. Uh, so it's probably not the best thing for bug photography, though I don't do a lot of bug photography, so that's not an issue for me. The um, other camera that I use is um, kind of a classic for Olympus. This is the Olympus EP5. Also a 16 megapixel camera. Also has image stabilization, that five axis image stabilization. Um, this is, does not have a viewfinder. You have to use the screen to photograph. Um, it has a flip screen so you can get the camera down on the ground or you can even turn it um, so that you can see the camera from above if you're holding it over your head. Um, these are just a, for a very compact uh, camera that has great image quality. These are really hard to beat. It's one of my favorite cameras, not necessarily just for macro, but for an everyday carry around camera. This is, this is one of my favorites. On this, I have the uh, 40 to 150 f4 to f5.6r zoom lens, um, very inexpensive zoom lens from Olympus, and that's not a macro lens, as it were. But what I do is I add to it the Raynox DCR 250. I don't know if you can even see that, but it um, this is a supplementary lens that you can buy that turns your zoom lens into a macro lens. Now. The amount of money I paid for this was very low. It was like in the $69 range, I think. And I, I was, you know, for that kind of price, I didn't have great expectations, but I have been amazed at how good the image quality is from this supplementary lens. On this zoom lens, I can get, um, I don't know the exact magnification ratios. I'm sure I could probably figure them out, but I think they um, approach one-to-one -one magnification depending on where I have it zoomed. The uh, image quality from this Raynox is just amazing. I, I'm just completely blown away by how good it is. This is one of my favorite setups. It has really nice working distance, so if you do like shooting insects, then, then that's helpful. Um, very inexpensive macro setup, and, but very capable, and so that's, that's a lot of fun to use. The other, one of the other lenses I use is this uh, 55 F35 Micro Nikkor. Now this is a classic lens from Nikon. Um, I have on it here the PK13 extension tube. But this lens uh, has just amazing image quality. They're not expensive. I think you can get these on eBay from 50 to maybe $80. Um, if, if you don't mind the manual focus and manual aperture, um, these things are just amazing in terms of image quality. Um, they really don't take a back seat to even our modern optics today. So if you um, if you're needing, wanting to do macro and uh, needing to try to do it in an affordable way, this is a great way to start. So, I use that for uh, quite a bit of my work. Now, largely I shoot most of my macro with just available light. Um, that's what I really like. But every now and then, um, I either need to add some light to the subject, or maybe I just want to be able to stop down enough to turn my background dark, or maybe even black, and still have my subject illuminated. So. I have a diffuser here that I made from some translucent plastic. Uh, this was actually some shelf lining material that was on some wire metal shelves at the place I work and they were getting rid of the shelves so I saved this lining material, um, added some Velcro to the way I've cut this out so that I can wrap it around the lens, Velcro it to itself and it'll hold itself on the lens. This um, allows me to create a diffuser 
that I can use with a flash um, to illuminate the subject. So I'll, I'll put that on the lens. Then I have this little flash that came with this Olympus um, camera. It's the FL LM3 uh, flash. It's a tiny little thing, but I really don't need a lot of light to make this work. And like I say, in most cases, all I'm trying to do is just you know drop my backgrounds off, and so I can just add a little bit of extra light to the uh, subject, and then that, that allows me to stop down enough to turn my background dark. So um, this is a very inexpensive setup that I have created for doing this seems to work very effectively and um, so this will work on on any of these other lenses that I've um, I've got out here so it's a it's a great little way to do that and very affordable so this um, diffuser is something you can make at home and you don't I, you know you can buy them but uh, you know I mean that took me five minutes to make a couple pieces of velcro and a pair of scissors it didn't take much so anyway um, the Olympus cameras, some of the reasons I really like these things have to do primarily with the, the value you get for your dollar. Uh, I think probably Olympus gives you more value for dollar in terms of equipment than just about any other brand. The um, uh, image quality is just fantastic. I love Olympus's color science. And um, like I say, the image stabilization, the focus stacking, this has a high resolution mode that will actually allow it to take I think it's 40 megapixel images. Um, you have to put the camera on a tripod, but you can uh, actually shoot high res pictures with it. So um, just a lot of capability in these cameras. And like I said, they're very affordable in terms of what you'd pay for digital cameras. And so I was just looking for, you know, how much bang for the buck can I get? And uh, Olympus seemed to be the answer for me. So anyway, that's the equipment I use. Um, let's take a look at some of the images I've created and then um, we'll um, catch up on the other side. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the, the images and the information. If you have any uh, questions or comments about the equipment or the photographs, um, please leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you would like and share on the video. That'll help me make the channel grow. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.